Hey everyone, welcome back to Andrina's Creations. Today I'm going to get show you a quick tutorial on how to customize your own party poppers. They look just like this. And you can customize to any event, any theme that you're having. So they look just like this. So, let's get started. My son's going to pop one actually. First, I'm going to show you how they look. Um, they came two in a pack. I got these from Dollar Tree. These were in the graduation aisle. I'm pretty sure they have any other themes. Um, they don't have the dimensions, but here is the um, SKU number if you want to look them up. That's the number. And like I said, it doesn't have dimensions on them. So pretty much how I always um, customize my stuff is I will measure them on the um, high end width and the top a circle and then I would use any software that I'm using again you can use your Cricut you can use um, this um, the silhouette you can use Microsoft Word Publisher Photoshop it doesn't matter what you use so I am going to use Microsoft Word for this tutorial that I always do is I go to file save as I am going to name my file Poppers Tutorial. And then where it says save as type, scroll down where it says Word document, Word 97 2003 document, and then click on save. And now I am going to show you how to make your own template, which you go to insert, shapes, click on the circle. Make any size circle, it doesn't matter. Make sure your circle is selected. Make sure you're on the format tab. Then on your right, it has the height and you're gonna manually type 1.5 enter. And on your width, you're going to type 1.5 enter. Again, the measurements are 1.5, 1.5. That is the circle that's gonna go on top of your poppers. Now go back to insert, shapes, the square, make any size square, it doesn't matter. Make sure you on, make sure your square is selected. Go to the format tab. On your height, you're going to manually type 3.64, enter. And your width is going to be 4.95, enter. And that is the um, label that's going to go around your poppers. Again, your height is 3.64 and your width is 4.95. And that is your template for both. Now, I always explain a little bit on how you customize it on my previous um, tutorials, but it's pretty easy. Select your circle. Make sure you're on your format tab. When you go to shape fill, you could pick any of these colors that are right here. If you don't like these colors, you can also go where it says more fill colors. And you can customize any of these colors from right here. If you don't want one of the a solid color, go back to shape fill and instead of picking um color where it says picture, click on the picture and then select the picture that you want to fill your entire circle. Remember, this is only to fill in your entire um shape. This is not for individual images, it's only for your entire background. A lot of people get confused and say, Well, why does this look expanded? And why does my image look expanded? This is only to fill in your background. So click on the background you want and click insert. Again, I explained this a million times. You can go to Etsy or you can go to Google to get images. Um you can go to Google and you can click on I am going to put 80s backgrounds enter make sure you're on the images and then you would just scroll down or when my computer loads but just scroll down and then click on the one that you like you have to make sure you click on the image then you would right click save picture 
Once um, this pops up, save it into the folder you want. I have all my images saved in different folders. So you will save, just click save. And now you go back to your Word document. And then you follow the steps. You go to shape fill and fill it in. Now, again, you will click on your rectangle. Make sure you're in the format tab. You go back to shape fill. Go back to picture. And fill it in with the background that you would like and click on insert now you have a full background and now to add individual shapes is a little bit different or individual images right here I on the circle on the top I am going to add a little shape so you go to insert shapes and click on any shapes that you would like that fits your theme I'm going to click on this and just put it in the front And while your shape is selected, again, go to Shape Fill and fill in the color that you would like. And I am going to zoom in a little bit. Now, if you want to add a font also for this one, you go to insert word art, click on the first word art, and then click a font that you would like. If you would like to download free fonts, you can also go to thefonts.com. I also have a tutorial for that. Everything that you wanted to say, click on OK. Now, if you try to drag this, it's not going to move, so make sure you have this selected. Go to Wrap Text in Front of Text. Make, when you on the also make sure your font is selected, you will go to Format and where it says Shape Fill, fill in the color that you would like for your font and also you could go to shape outline and click of an outline color that you would like as well Once you have that there, now we can add images to the um, label that wraps around. I'm going to add another shape. So go to insert shapes. I'm going to click on the same shape that I had used on the lid. And I am going to make a shape right here. I'm going to go to format shape fill and add the color yellow. Go to shape outline, no outline. Now you could also go to insert picture. This is where you add your individual images. You have to make sure nothing selected. You will go to insert picture and then click on the image that you would like to add and then click on insert. Now your image is gonna be behind your design so you need to make sure it's selected. You will go to format, wrap text in front of text so your image could come to the front. Now you see that this image has a white background. I need to remove that white background. I also have a tutorial um, how to remove your backgrounds. So make sure your image is selected. Then you will go to the format tab. It says recolor and click on set transparent color. 
and then your background is removed. Now, make the image the size that you would like. Just like that. And if you want to add a more font to the label, you will make sure nothing selected. You will go to insert word art, click on the first word art and type. Once you're done um, designing however you would like it, hold down your shift key and click on the circle, click on the shape you did and click on the font and then go to format, group and group. Once it's grouped, everything will move as one image. The same thing with the rectangle. Make sure you unselect the circle. Now press down your shift key, select the rectangle, select all the images you have inserted. Then you will go to format, group, and group. And your rectangle also should move as one. Now again, this is an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. You're going to put the label more high up and you're going to right click, copy and paste. And now you put this right here in the bottom. Again, for the circle, you're going to right click, copy and paste. and you could fit two labels in one piece of um, paper. Now, you can easily, if you're printing at home, go ahead and print this. I am going to use sticker paper. I buy my sticker paper from Amazon. Make sure whatever sticker paper you are buying is compatible with your printer. My printer is an inkjet printer. I have an Epson 7710. Um, when I went to Amazon, I just searched inkjet sticker paper. Now, if you have a laser printer, make sure it's compatible with your laser printers. Another thing, if you don't have a printer at home and you would like to print this at another location or you are selling this to a customer, make sure 
that you save this as a PDF file, meaning that if another computer or um, your customer doesn't have the same software, whenever they open this image, it's going to stay exactly like this. Nothing's going to get distorted. The font is going to stay the same. The image is going to stay the same. Nothing's going to change. The measurements are going to stay the same. Nothing changes once you save it as a PDF file. And all you have to go do is go to File, Save As, And right here where it says save as type, you will scroll down and save it as a PDF file. Another thing, if you want to know everything's inside your page, there's a magnifying glass on top of here. You click on the magnifying glass and that's a print preview. So it's going to show you exactly how it's going to look once you print it. And if something's outside the page, once it goes to print preview, make sure you put everything inside of the page. So this is everything's inside of the page. So that's how it looks. I know everything's inside of the page. I know everything's not outside my print border. So I will go back to home. And that's all. So now I am going to print one out and I'm going to put it on the poppers for you guys. video please give me a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and subscribe so you can be notified when i upload my next video and again thank you so much for all my new subscribers i really appreciate all the new support if you have any questions please comment down below and i will see you on my next video
Bye-bye, guys.